Are new governments finally stepping up on climate? Let's break it down for your future. In the UK, Labour promised to make Britain a clean energy superpower, doubling onshore wind, tripling solar, and quadrupling offshore wind by 2030, all while creating green jobs through home retrofits and low-carbon heating. In Canada, Prime Minister Mark Carney is balancing carbon with construction, backing new pipelines and ultra-large carbon capture projects in Alberta's oil sands. Meanwhile, Canada commits to slashing emissions 40 to 45 percent below 2005 levels by 2030 and phasing out coal-fired power by 2030. In the U.S., the situation is mixed. New leaders are rolling back climate progress with plans to deregulate power plant emissions, even though those emissions make the U.S. power sector the world's sixth largest emitter since 1990. The result? The UK aims to pair climate action with economic growth, green prosperity, Canada is hedging between oil and clean tech, and the US is prioritizing energy dominance, while global warming keeps escalating. For you, one, buy clean energy from UK-based utilities. Chapter two, support Canada's carbon capture initiatives. Three, hold US lawmakers accountable Power plant emissions still threaten your air and health? Want more rapid-fire climate reality checks? Follow SciSnap. Smart science in a snap.